right. So we're officially going to do a G Fuel review flavor, review flavor, and uh, we are going to start it with watermelon mint. Now I've heard a lot of good stuff about the watermelon mint. I will say that uh, I've heard way more good than negative. Um, as far as the watermelon goes, I've heard it's like a 80% watermelon, 10-20% you know mint. So it's really, really like watermelon heavy. And however, I did try G Fuel watermelon for the first time um, last week. And it was really, really, really good. And it was in the BOGO. So was this. Do recommend it. Um, it was really, really, really good. Really subtle. It was like the flavor was really powerful. Like that's all you tasted was watermelon. There was no powder aftertaste. There was, it was just great. It blended up good. This is looking real, real good too. It's looking real hopeful. But yeah, so I ended up having to get me a whole container of watermelon as well as watermelon mint. So I, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, could put watermelon in the watermelon mint if I get too much minty taste in this, if you know what I mean, to kind of even it out. Oh, and this is one of my favorite things to do with new G Fuel uh, tubs. They make you dig for the scooper. It is nowhere near anywhere, probably towards the top. Sometimes you get lucky. What I like doing is taking an old scooper, so open up one of an old uh, container, emptying her out. And just fishing it out with this. Because I don't like digging my hands in it, you know. And uh, eventually you will. It's kind of like. Going out and digging up stuff out of the dirt. Eventually you'll just find something under the clumps. And then, hingo, you found what you thought was the scooper. Ah, 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 ah. So. Now we got to use this bag it to keep digging and eventually I will come to the scooper this is the segment of the video that is really 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 painful to watch I know but guess what I found as it's buried deep 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 to the bottom and look that's how it comes out like it was just an ancient relic and it has all kinds of dirt on it now. Alright. So we empty her out, empty her out, empty her out. Now, I'm not sure if anybody knows how a, the full scoop, this to this, I use in a tall boy. It's like 24 ounces. You're supposed to use them in, you know, 12 to 16 ounce liquids. Which I usually use tall boys, which is 24 ounces. Um... I usually drink like three of those a day. I think you're only supposed to drink three 12 to 16 ounces a day. I don't know. It's delicious. You ain't going to tell me I can only drink so much stuff when it's so delicious. But at the same time, that's why they make their hydrations. So we're going to put this in here. I'll seal this bad boy back up. Natural and artificial flavors, sugar-free, 15 calories a serving, forty servings, mm -hmm. and then all of your nice, good components that is for the body. So that is great. One good thing about drinking this, I'll tell you what, G Fuel definitely saved my life whenever it comes to uh, the healthy decisions that I was making in my life. Like, not really healthy as much as I was making unhealthy decisions. You know what I mean? There's a difference in life when you make healthy decisions and then when you make unhealthy decisions. And I was just making unhealthy decisions. I work with a, a soda machine in a restaurant, so it's 
a factor of like I always have a soda machine and that was my enemy for the longest time and then I found this and I was like hey man like I enjoy my water but like you only get so much water down and then then this come along I like other energy drinks and drink a lot of other drinks uh rock stars monsters and stuff and then I just kind of converted to finding this last year actually about a whole year ago so with the Broly Super Saiyan Broly legendary shaker you know smells real real good definitely it's got that smell that you just want to run it's like the open world smell like I'm not talking freedom like gunpowder and gasoline I'm talking just fresh let's see here see again real subtle I barely taste the mint when people were saying it's like 80 20 I'm thinking it's like maybe 90 10 or 95 5 I'm gonna do it again So I can definitely see myself mixing watermelon with this. I mean, it's delicious. Don't get me wrong, I'm almost drunk almost half of it already. But I'm trying to get myself to really, really, really like it like the others. I guess if you want, ooh, a brain freeze now. It's real quick. I'll tell you what, and I like the color. I like how it's a pink color and represents a watermelon. If you want a flavor that's light but delicious at the same time, it's not going to overburden your taste buds. And if you don't mind a little mint because there is a little mint just a little I would definitely say this would de definitely be a try for me I'm gonna give it a good eight out of ten seven and a half bottom eight tops out of ten it's definitely a up there flavor but it's not like a up there top top tier flavor for me anyway I've seen people purchase like 10 of these things. I mean, I purchased, uh, I only got two. Because I was wondering like, hey, what's all the hype about? And I always like getting like two of everything. Clearly, as you can see, I got a lot of two of everythings around here. So, there's that. But, uh, so no, I mean, I'm happy I definitely purchased both of them. Purchased them on BOGO. Buy one, get one free. So, best time to purchase them and uh yeah i mean that's about it man uh i would definitely like i said about an eight out of ten and uh I'd recommend g fuel for anybody who hasn't tried it for real i mean it's what's there to lose literally nothing some water so i mean cheers have a good night happy new year